In this example, you're asked to convert centimeters to meters as well as milliseconds to seconds. To do so, you are going to have to know what a centimeter is in terms of meters and what a millisecond is in terms of seconds. If you look up centi, it means one one hundredth. So one hundred centimeters equals one meter. And milli means one thousand. So one thousand milliseconds equals one second. I've rewritten the given value uh, in the format that I often use for unit conversions. And now I need to figure out what conversion factor will convert centimeters into meters. So I actually want to get rid of this centimeters. What that means is I am going to divide by centimeters and I would like to replace the centimeters I'm dividing, dividing by with units of meters. So now that I have this ordering, meters over centimeters, down, I know that I want to take this equivalence expression that 100 meters, sorry, 100 centimeters equals one meter and enter it as a conversion factor, one meter on the top, and 100 centimeters on the bottom. I'm allowed to do that because 100 centimeters equals 1 meter. So from this, these units cancel, these centimeters, and I'm left with meters. There is more to this problem because I actually want to convert milliseconds squared into seconds. And since it's squared, that means it's like milliseconds times milliseconds. That means I have to actually get rid of two factors of milliseconds. So I want to get rid of these milliseconds. They're on the bottom, so I have to have milliseconds on the top. I'm going to replace them with seconds. That's what I want to end up with on the bottom is seconds. But I can't just apply this once to get rid of milliseconds squared. I have to apply it twice, milliseconds over seconds. So what this will end up giving me is seconds squared in the bottom, seconds times seconds, whoops, and it'll give me milliseconds squared on the top, milliseconds times milliseconds, to cancel out with this millisecond squared in the bottom. So these will cancel out. I need to make sure I input the numbers correctly from the equivalent statement. So if I look at 1,000 milliseconds equals one second, I'm going to create a conversion factor of 1,000 milliseconds per one second, 1,000 milliseconds per one second, and then finally I'm going to look and see that my units are meters per second squared. There's two seconds, that's second squared in the bottom. And if I do division with these three numbers, I get, I'm just going to cancel out factors of 10. So one, two factors of 10, one, two factors of 10. So I'm left with 1,000, that's 10 times 10 times 10, times another factor of 10. So I just count the zeros remaining, that's 10 to the fourth and I'm going to have 4.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. And what that's going to look like is 4.8 times 10 to the negative fifth times 10 to the fourth. When I have that, I need to add the exponents together on this base 10 part. So negative 5 plus 4, that's going to be negative 1. So I end up with 4.8 times 10 to the first meters per second squared. So that's the entire process. We did each unit conversion separately, even though we had to do uh, a change from centimeters to meters, as well as a change from milliseconds to seconds, both of those squared.